Forget the image of a T-Rex chasing a Jeep across the silver screen. The scientific reality of the Cretaceous period's greatest predator might just surprise you. You could actually outrun a T-Rex. It only managed about 15 miles per hour, a rather sluggish pace compared to an average jogger. What's even more astonishing is that even at that speed, a T-Rex was essentially risking its life with falls, potentially causing severe injuries. This drastically changes its role in the ancient ecosystem. The T-Rex wasn't a speed hunter, but more likely an ambush predator or a scavenger. But the story gets more complex when you examine exactly why this massive predator faced such dangerous limitations in its own body. What if the most feared predator in history was actually trapped in its own body, unable to run without risking instant death? This wasn't some evolutionary flaw or temporary limitation. T-Rex faced a biological speed limit that could mean life or death with every step it took across the Cretaceous landscape. The shocking reality becomes clear when you examine the biomechanical studies that have revolutionized our understanding of these massive predators. Exceeding 15 and a half miles per hour would create bone crushing forces that could snap T-Rex's massive leg bones like twigs under pressure. Scientists have calculated that the stress loads generated by faster movement would surpass the structural integrity of even these enormously thick bones. The physics behind this limitation paint a terrifying picture of what high-speed movement would actually mean for a creature of this size. Picture a nine-ton body creating pressures equivalent to a small building crashing down on four support beams. Every stride would generate impact forces that modern engineering would struggle to contain. The femur bones, despite being among the largest and strongest bones ever discovered, had specific stress thresholds that biomechanical analysis has precisely measured. University of Manchester researchers calculated the exact breaking points where T-Rex bones would fracture under dynamic loading conditions. Their computer models revealed that the combination of body mass, stride length and ground impact forces created a perfect storm of mechanical stress. The scenario of an actual high-speed chase becomes nightmarish when viewed through this scientific lens. Instead of the thrilling pursuit scenes depicted in movies, a T-Rex attempting to run at full speed would face potential catastrophic bone failure with each footfall. The creature's own momentum would become its enemy, creating forces that could cripple or kill it instantly. This mechanical reality meant that every movement required careful calculation of risk versus reward. This speed limitation completely transforms our understanding of T-Rex behavior within its ecosystem. Rather than being an active pursuit predator that chased down prey across open terrain, T-Rex operated under severe physical constraints that shaped every aspect of its hunting strategy. The creature couldn't afford the luxury of extended chases or rapid direction changes that would stress its skeletal system beyond safe limits. These biomechanical restrictions forced T-Rex to develop entirely different approaches to securing food and territory. Speed was simply not an option for sustained periods, which meant alternative strategies became essential for survival. The massive skull and devastating bite force evolved as compensatory mechanisms for what the creature couldn't accomplish through velocity and agility. University studies have shown that even brief bursts of speed carried significant risks making T-Rex fundamentally different from modern large predators. Lions can sprint at 50 miles per hour, while T-Rex was locked into a maximum sustainable pace that wouldn't stress its bones beyond their failure threshold. This wasn't just a minor inconvenience, but a defining characteristic that influenced every behavioral adaptation. The evidence points to T-Rex as an ambush predator that relied on stealth surprise and overwhelming bite force rather than speed to secure prey. This hunting strategy made perfect sense given the physical limitations imposed by its enormous size. The creature likely positioned itself strategically weighted for optimal opportunities and struck with devastating precision rather than engaging in prolonged pursuits. 
However, the speed restrictions represented only one aspect of T-Rex's physical vulnerabilities and perhaps not even the most limiting factor in its daily survival challenges. Picture a 40-foot apex predator with arms so pathetically small they couldn't even scratch its own nose, but the reality is far more limiting than you think. These weren't just comically undersized appendages on an otherwise perfectly designed killing machine. They represented a fundamental constraint that shaped every aspect of how T-Rex interacted with its environment and prey. The shocking proportions become clear when you consider that these arms measured barely a yard long on a creature the size of a school bus. This biological puzzle has baffled scientists for decades, creating ongoing debates about evolutionary purpose and function. The disproportion wasn't subtle or minor. These arms looked almost absurd attached to such a massive predator, raising questions about why natural selection would maintain such seemingly inadequate limbs on an otherwise dominant species. Paleontologists remain divided about whether these arms were evolutionary leftovers from earlier, more proportionate ancestors, or served some mysterious purpose that modern science still doesn't fully understand. Some researchers argue they represent vestigial structures gradually shrinking over millions of years, while others insist they must have retained some functional importance to persist through evolutionary pressure. The debate continues because neither explanation fully accounts for the muscular development and bone density found in T-Rex arm fossils. The practical limitations these tiny limbs created were extensive and severely restrictive. They couldn't reach the mouth, making it impossible for T-Rex to manipulate food while eating or clean debris from its teeth. They were completely ineffective for grasping large prey during attacks, forcing the predator to rely entirely on its jaws for both killing and handling victims. Most critically, they were utterly useless for breaking falls or providing stability during unexpected movements, creating dangerous vulnerability for such a massive creature. Research has revealed that despite being heavily muscled and surprisingly strong, these arms could only lift approximately 400 pounds each. While this lifting capacity would be impressive for humans, it was essentially meaningless for a nine ton predator attempting to manipulate prey weighing several tons. The strength to body weight ratio made these arms functionally irrelevant for most survival activities that T-Rex would encounter in its daily existence. Various theories about arm function have emerged over the years, ranging from mating displays to specialized prey manipulation techniques. Some scientists proposed they helped T-Rex grip partners during reproduction, while others suggested they assisted in holding smaller prey items against the body. However, each theory falls short of explaining why such expensive biological structures would persist if they served only minor occasional functions. The metabolic cost of maintaining muscle mass and bone density in these arms seems disproportionate to any proposed benefit. This physical limitation forced T-Rex to rely almost entirely on its massive jaws for every aspect of predation and feeding. Unlike modern predators that use combinations of teeth, claws and limbs to subdue prey, T-Rex developed a hunting style completely dependent on bite force and head movement. The creature became a specialized killing machine focused entirely on delivering devastating jaw attacks since its arms offered no meaningful assistance in combat or prey handling. These seemingly minor appendages actually represented a major evolutionary compromise that fundamentally altered T-Rex behavior and hunting strategies. The arms weren't just small or weak, they were essentially non-functional for most activities crucial to predator success. This created a biological bottleneck that concentrated all of T-Rex's predatory capability into its skull and jaw muscles. T-Rex's tiny arms made it completely dependent on bite force and precise head positioning, fundamentally shaping its role as a specialized predator, unlike any creature alive today. Yet, when combined with other physical constraints, these limitations created an even more dangerous vulnerability that threatened the survival of individual animal. 
For T-Rex, a simple stumble wasn't just embarrassing, it was potentially a death sentence that could end the reign of the most powerful predator on Earth. While modern animals might shake off a fall and continue about their day, T-Rex lived under the constant threat that one misstep could prove fatal. This wasn't paranoia or overthinking. The terrifying reality was that T-Rex's massive size and high center of gravity made falling one of its greatest threats more dangerous than any rival predator it might encounter in the Cretaceous landscape. Standing nearly 20 feet tall and weighing nine tons, T-Rex operated at heights and masses that created extraordinary mechanical forces during any uncontrolled descent. A fall from its full height, while carrying such enormous weight, could generate enough kinetic energy to shatter bones and cause internal injuries that would be impossible to survive. The physics involved aren't gentle. When nine tons of predator hits the ground from 20 feet up, the impact forces exceed what any biological structure can absorb safely. Bones that evolved to support vertical loads would face horizontal and rotational stresses far beyond their design limits. The biomechanical nightmare of trying to get back up after a fall presents an even more terrifying scenario with tiny, ineffective arms that couldn't provide meaningful support, a fallen T-Rex would face the impossible task of lifting a body weight equivalent to two elephants stacked on top of each other. Modern large animals provide sobering comparisons that highlight just how dire this situation would become. Elephants weighing roughly half what T-Rex weighed require enormous effort and sometimes assistance to rise after falling. They use their trunks, legs, and considerable core strength to regain their footing, yet even they occasionally fail to recover from serious falls. T-Rex faced exponentially greater challenges with none of the advantages that help modern giants survive tumbles. Those pathetic little arms couldn't push against the ground or provide leverage for standing. The creature would need to rely entirely on its leg muscles and core strength to lift its massive torso from a prone position, a task that approaches physical impossibility given the biomechanical constraints involved. This vulnerability would have created profound psychological impacts on T-Rex behavior, forcing extreme caution in every movement and terrain choice. Each step across uneven ground, every pursuit of prey through rocky areas, and any movement during poor weather conditions would require careful risk assessment. The creature couldn't afford to be reckless or impulsive when the stakes were literally life and death with every stride. Fossil evidence supports the theory that falls were indeed a major cause of death and disability among these massive predators. Paleontologists have discovered T-Rex specimens with healed fractures, broken ribs, and other injuries consistent with serious falls or impacts. Some fossils show evidence of injuries that never properly healed, suggesting these animals lived with permanent disabilities caused by traumatic incidents that modern predators might easily survive. This ultimate weakness tied together with speed limitations and arm deficiencies to create a perfect storm of vulnerability that defined T-Rex existence. The inability to run fast meant they couldn't quickly escape dangerous situations. The useless arms provided no safety net during balance problems. The fatal consequences of falling meant that every physical risk became magnified beyond normal predator concerns. T-Rex had to move through its world like a careful giant, constantly aware that one wrong step could end everything, fundamentally altering their entire approach to survival and hunting in ways that shaped every behavioral adaptation. The secret to this dominance lay in complete behavioral adaptation to physical reality. T-Rex succeeded not despite these weaknesses, but by adapting its entire lifestyle around them, becoming a master of calculated predation rather than brute force hunting. These limitations forced evolutionary innovations that made T-Rex uniquely effective within its constraints. Sometimes the greatest predators are those who overcome their limitations rather than those born without them. Modern apex predators rely on speed agility and versatile limbs, yet T-Rex dominated through patience, precision, and overwhelming bite force alone. 
Understanding these weaknesses makes T-Rex's 165 million year dominance even more impressive and mysterious than we ever imagined.